Guys, as I've said, in the effort to provide you with more content, I have reached out to some companies. You're seeing this knife in front of you. This is the Remet Hand Feel Folding Knife. I know it's an interesting, well, it's a, it's, it's a name, but not everything's in a name. Let's turn this around, take a look at this really, really good little budget knife. Guys, like I said in the intro, this is the Remet Hand Feel Folding Knife. Now, I know that's not a real great name for a knife, but I got to say, this is a pretty good knife. Uh, and the thing it's got going for it, it doesn't seem to try to be doing anything it's not. It's not trying to put itself out as something it isn't. This is just a really good all around utility use knife. You can see I've been using it already this morning. It's already got some shine on the finish. This thing is really sharp and cuts really well. It's got a really good feel in hand. You're looking at G10 9CR18 MOV blade that is ground nice and thin. I'll get some good close-up pictures of some of this stuff. It is in a liner lock with ceramic detent and ceramic balls. Like I said, G10 scales. I have not taken this apart to change out any of the lubricant or anything because the action on it is really good. Now, Remet is a company you might not have heard of. And I hadn't heard of him until Jared over at Neves Knives told me I needed to talk to them about this. So I reached out to him and said, hey, you know, I'm interested in seeing a couple of your products. I'll give them an honest review. If you're okay with that, that'd be cool. They were, they said, fine. They sent me a voucher to purchase the knife. And basically I bought this from Amazon. So it wasn't a hand-picked version um, because they said they had good faith in their quality so first hand pockets i've noticed there is no blade play in this action's really good pocket clip for a deep carry pocket clip um is really comfortable and it doesn't shift all that much as opposed to some others uh the liners on it are a little bit re the, the scales are a little bit redacted so some of the liner sticks out and you've got fairly decent lockup that's a good solid like probably about 50 percent lockup on that but that in a lot of times that really doesn't matter like i said action on it is really good you've got very good feeling I, they call it the hand feel knife I, I tell you it feels pretty good in hand um the g10 is just about the right texturing to prevent slipping and sliding and it's got really good action both thumb stud and flipper now like i said this is like their baseline model. I've seen other models that they have that are out there that are much more elaborate, much more fancy. And I'm going to say I, I would like to see some of those, but I'm kind of impressed with how this one is so far. Now, I'm sure that over the course of carry, I might find some issues with it. You can see it's typical of, you know, this is a Chinese made knife. A lot of times they come with a little bit of extra lubricant. Um, so I need to clean that up because they, they put a lot of oil in these sometimes. So it needs cleaned up. I have noticed that there's a little spot here where the plunge ends uh, that is not 100% the way I would want it. Um, I may take this. I may actually take this and put it on a scotch bright and just take out a little bit of that material there and give it a little bit more space. But as far as cutting and everything like that so far today, I got to say I like the knife. It's a nice blade shape. It's got a, a nice... A uh, big flat area here with a little bit of belly if you need to do some piercing. I did do some some cutting up at the very front to see how it did. And the edge has held up pretty well. Like I said, you can see um, the cutting I've done has already marred the finish. But I'm not seeing any real stuff. There's some adhesive still stuck on it. I'm not seeing any issues with the edge on this. So as far as fit and finish, you know, it's it's strictly a budget knife. And I like the fact that it's just budget it's 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 not one of those knives that is trying to give you a bunch of flash and pop and not give you form and function so i'll take that i'll take a good plain jane looking knife over an attractive knife that doesn't function real well any day of the week so there you go guys basically that's it uh, just a real quick first day in pockets on this it's got some frog face going on let's turn this around and give you some final thoughts and send you out about your day Forgot to mention, check out Coffee Brand Coffee, channel sponsor, video sponsor, fresh, uh, freshly roasted on demand, roasted on demand, shipped to your door. Coffee, tea, cocoa, good company. They're supporting the channel. Big shout out. Thanks to Coffee Brand Coffee. Check them out. 5% off if you use my coupon code Crazy Shark. Like I said in the video, what this lacks in flash and pop, it absolutely makes up for in form and function. It absolutely is a great little budget knife. I can honestly say that 
I was kind of, I was kind of taken aback by how plain it looked, but how good it felt in hand. So don't always judge a book by its cover. I'll absolutely put a link to this down below. It is a great little knife coming in at a very decent price. I think they're like 50, they're under, they're under $70. Um, and uh, yeah, works really, really well for what I've done with it so far. So yeah, just first day in pockets. I may find some issues with it later. Guys, that's it on this one. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. It's the best thing you can do for a video, for a channel. If you don't like if you don't like the video, tell me why. If you want to support the channel, absolutely check out my sponsors, Doll Strong Knives. Great, great knives at a bargain price. And if you don't find a knife you like, you're looking in the wrong spot. Doll Strong has got so many models. Tempered trails, some of the best shoelaces you're gonna find, made out of 550 cord, handmade metal aglets. And this channel's, this video's sponsor, Coffee Brand Coffee, save 5% on great coffee, no politics, no pandering, no BS, just great coffee. And they take that money that they typically would put into activism and put it back into making a better product. They're all great people. Everyone I've dealt with there has been amazing. And the coffee is really good. I also have a membership. All the tiers get early access to the videos. When they, when they get put up, you get it that day. You don't have to wait for it to start. You get access to my Gilded server, which is a lot of fun. We hang out. There are going to be some stores on the Gilded server moving forward. And baseline premium tier members are entered into giveaways that I do specifically for them. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube. I am going to build my own store on the Amazon storefront. You can see that coming sometime soon. I got to eat with Jared and Kara to figure out how they did theirs. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video. Guys, I have made it abundantly clear that I live my life purely fueled on caffeine and inappropriate thoughts. So it only makes sense that I would partner with a company like Coffee Brand Coffee. Coffee Brand Coffee is providing you coffee that is roasted to order, delivered to your door with no politics. We get enough politics in our day-to-day -day life. We don't need it in our entertainment or in our breakfast beverages. So go check out description down below. There is a link to Coffee Brand Coffee. Save 5%. You can also use my coupon code Crazy Sharp when you order. It directly supports the channel. Big shout out. Thanks to Coffee Brand Coffee for sponsoring this video.